Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mind Your Exam. In this video, we will be learning about the data definition language or the DDL commands that are present in SQL. And there are a variety of DDL commands. In today's video, we will be learning about these commands for creating a database, using that database and displaying all the tables present in that database. So starting with what is DDL or data definition language in SQL? So DDL commands are a part of SQL. They are in they are actually SQL commands that are used for either creating a relation schema. Relation means the tables that are present in a relational database. Okay. So SQL commands which are used for creating or defining relational schema or modifying that relational schema or even deleting the relations that are present in the relational database, all these commands of SQL come under the data definition language or are known as DDL commands. So let us write it down. SQL commands for defining relation schema. Now schema basically refers to the structure of the table. Okay, then not only defining or creating a table, but you can also use the uh, DDL command for modifying the relation schema and you can also use for deleting the relation overall that means for deleting the entire table that is present in the database now one thing that you must understand is that defining or creating a relation schema includes a lot of things. It includes uh, deciding or defining which relations or which tables to create. So for example, if you have a database for a particular multinational companies, then you will have, you can create a relation corresponding to the employee details and you can in that database only you can also create a table for the departments that are present, the information for the departments. So the first thing that is included in defining a relation schema is defining, first of all, which relations to be created, which defining which relations are to be created. Then for each relation, what you need to define, you need to define the data type of different attributes or columns that are present in each relation. Okay, the data types of each attribute present in each of the relation that you are creating. And you can also specify the constraints that will be imposed on the values that are specified in these attributes. We have discussed data types also in one of the previous videos and constraints also in the previous video. So this all in these all uh, issues are tackled using the data definition language. Now apart from these um, basic things, you can also include commands that can ensure the security of your database and the data contained in it. You can also write the commands to Im impose access rights. That means which person will be allowed to view which kind of content. So if it is a normal employee, he or she will only be able to view his information and not the sensitive information of the entire company that is present in the database. So depending on what kind of access in uh, authorization, authentication, all you want to perform, you can use the data definition language for that also while you are defining the relational schema. Now, the first kind of command that is used in data definition language is or the first step that you need to perform is to create a database. So before writing any SQL command for on a relation or a table of a database, you have to first create the database. So the simple command for creating a database is create. You have to write these two words create database. We have seen that SQL is a case insensitive language. So you can write it either in all caps or in all small case, either way that you like. Now, once you have written these two words, create database, then you need to specify the name of the database that you want to create. So you can replace this word by any database name that you want to create, but these two words will remain fixed. So for example, if we want to create an employee database, what command will we write in SQL? We will write create database 
and the name of that database i'm writing the name as employee okay or employee details so uh, this particular database is named employee details it can contain one or more relations corresponding to employee details okay now this is the semicolon that you have to write at the end of each sql statement now once we have created a database in uh, since any database management system can include one or more databases at the same time that means you can in if you are creating a database management system for a university you can have a database that stores the student details then you can have a database that corresponds to the faculty and staff and admin details then you can have a database containing the financial or accounting information okay and within each of them you can have different kinds of relations for example in the student details one relation or one table can be about the personal details of the students the other information can be about the uh, transport and the fees related information of the student in the in the faculty database the details can be about the uh, the salary the designation the departments of the faculty and so on so similarly when you have the option of creating multiple databases then when you need to work on any one database you need to select that database okay so you can create multiple databases using the command that we have just learned but once your uh, once all the databases are created then you need to select or use one particular database at a time so that you can perform the desired operations on it and to uh, to select or use that database the command is use use is the keyword keyword means the word that this particular word this particular uh, command part is fixed you cannot change it but you can specify the name of the database that you want to use this particular the second part of this command is variable it can change depending on the database that you are using so just like we created the employee details database suppose we also created we also create another database say student okay so this is one database employee details another database is student details now out of these two if i want to select the student details database then what command i will write i will write the command as use student details okay so here my command would be use and the name of the database that i want to use i want to use the student details database now you have to be very careful while writing the name of the database if in the name of the database you have specified capital s and capital d make sure that you follow the exact same name to avoid any kind of confusion now once we have created any particular database and we have uh, seen uh, that uh, you know uh, which database we want to use then we start by seeing which tables are already in a particular database so when you create a new database that particular database is empty okay so when you uh, if uh, when you create a table which we will be seeing in the next video how to create a table in the database once you have created all the tables in a database then you can use the show table command so that you can see which tables or which relations are present in that database okay so the priority the before executing this command you need to select the database so previous to this command you need to select the database and then you need to execute this particular command show tables here you don't have to write the name of any particular table so what you are actually doing here is you are creating a database and then you are seeing which tables are present in it if you have created a new database this particular command will show a uh, empty output that means no tables are initially present in the database in a newly created database but once you have created the database and created different relations of that database then 
after creating the relations if you execute this command it will show the names of all the tables or relations that are present in that database so in this particular command both these words are fixed you don't have to write any specific name it is a generic command it will give you a list of all the tables that are present within the database so this command can also be used to check whether a database is empty or not so uh, in the first step let's combine all the three commands and see how we will create a new database firstly we will write the create database command okay so create database and let me give the name as uh, you ny okay so this can be any university database that i am creating so i'll write the semicolon i have created a database now i once i have created the database i want to select this database so that i can create the tables within that database or i can see which tables are present in that database so after creating you have to execute the command use database and the name of the database that you will be writing here so my name the name of the database is uni so i will write the name uny or the database name that i want to select here i want to select the newly created database of the university then in the third command i will uh, execute show tables now show tables will give me an empty list because till now i have just created the database selected that database and after selection i am showing the tables okay so this was all for today's video this were these were the data definition language commands or the ddl commands that are present in sql for creating using and displaying the tables in a database thank you for watching till we meet in the next video mind your exam